Day 32 now with only two weeks left of 2009. We're taking a look back at some of the most interesting health care discoveries of the past year. Joining us is Fox 9 medical expert Dr. Arkel Giorgio to talk about it. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, first, the U.S. has been adding a fluoride to its public water supply for decades, and that's, of course, to prevent tooth decay. Well, now researchers from Japan are suggesting that we add lithium. So why is that? Well, they're actually not suggesting it, but they're certainly looking into it. Lithium is a medication that in prescription doses treats mood disorders in people with bipolar disorder or manic depressive illness. And what these researchers found in Japan is that it's, uh, lithium is present in trace amounts in the normal water supply in some communities. And in those communities, they have a lower suicide rate. And so they're really investigating whether trace amounts of lithium can just change the mood in a community enough to really, in a, in a positive way, without having the bad effects of lithium, to really affect the mood and decrease the suicide rate. Very interesting hmm. concept. You know, it's the same reason why we put um, iodine and salt, fluoride and water. Um, there's, there's many different examples of when we put trace amounts of chemicals in the normal supply of food or water to help people's health. Right, although not, this is the first where they're actually affecting people's moods and you know, the brain. So that, uh, I'm sure, puts up a lot of red flags for people.